Hello friends. Chapter 2 Testing Technique. Now we see different types of testing. So, first is what is black box testing? Then, as the name indicates, it is not about the box which is of a black color, it is somewhat related to your requirement. So first thing about the black box testing is it is a testing of a requirement. It does not involve your code. Yes, the entire code, the programming language. Whatever you code, it does not involve or does not include. It is the test of your features. What are the features to be tested in the form of requirements? So black box testing is done from the customer's viewpoint. The test engineer enraged in a black box testing only knows the set of inputs and expected behavior. But it does not know, he is not aware of the flow of your code. How does it manipulate or how does the code is generated the expected behavior know? He knows what are the input and he knows the output. So, black box testing is done without the knowledge of the internals of the system. That means, black box testing is mainly your requirement specification based testing. It does not involve how many APIs you have or how many links you have or which kind of programming language you use, how many lines of code you did, nothing. What are your sets of inputs, what are your features and what you should expect at the end. Now why black box testing? Why we should do it? It helps to in the overall functionality verification. This is all about your verification of the system under test, which is to be tested. Black box testing is done based on the requirements so that it helps in identifying any incomplete requirement or any inconsistent of your requirement. Even if you have a small issue, whether I should do this or that. So with the help of the black box, this issue resolves. Sometimes the requirements stated are incomplete or inconsistent. Through this black box testing, because we test keeping the customer's perspective in mind, the inputs and the features which are to be tested is verified. So in case of any inconsistency, this is cleared. Black box testing addresses the state requirements stated requirements as well as implied requirements. Not at all requirements are stated explicitly, let me tell you. Even as a customer or an end user, if I go to a software firm where the requirement manager comes and sit me, we had a discussion, I will be lacking to define my requirements. I couldn't complete or I couldn't say my requirements properly. So some of the requirements are implicit, that means the requirement manager thinks, oh, I want something else, I want this button, I want that button. So that they know it, what actually I want. For example, if I didn't mention that my presentation page should have date, page, date, header, footer, page number, header, footer, and date all. I did not state it that. But somehow the requirement manager implicited my requirement and it is in the presentation. That means he conveyed my requirement. However, this would need to be included by providing the product to the customers. Then we have black box testing encompasses the end user perspectives. That means we want the test behavior of the product from the external perspective, from the end user perspective. We don't want it behave what we want. It is all 
about your customer perspective so with thinking in this man you should do it black box testing handles valid and invalid inputs that means it is natural for user to make errors while using a product i am a user i am a young user i don't know what are the inputs and output keywords are the screen shows me enter my login credential which has name age address my qualifications suppose I know what to enter, but my date is not mentioned properly. I entered any like the uh, format is prescribed, but the format was not prescribed. I, I, I entered like 18th March 19 something, and so they generated an error while logging credential while submitting the credential it gave me the error please enter proper date what do you mean by entering the proper date i forgot my proper birthday so that it has to be prescribed with some method with some pattern so this could be invalid inputs what are the valid what are the invalid this has to be tested while using this black box test in the features when you say the features this input also comes up the feature means what are the operations are required what could be the function so this function will take some of the input value which can be invalid or negative or worthless so we need to identify this input valid input or invalid input so testing from the user end perspective includes testing for this error or invalid condition this ensures that when the product behaves an expected invalid situation does not hang or crash and whereas when provided with invalid it will now how to do the black box testing black box testing is divided into various pattern requirement Base testing, boundary value analysis, Bayesian tables, equivalence partition, state-based or graph-based testing. 